everyone, finally a new metal detecting video. Um, I'm in a very interesting location, a lot of history, found some cool stuff here before. We actually don't have time at all, so maybe an hour, I don't know. But we just started detecting right over here, already found a piece of shrapnel over there. And um, I just found something very interesting. Right over here, I just found this. And look at that guys, this is definitely the blade of a broken bayonet. This is insane, look at this guys. This is so cool, it's pretty rusty and it's broken as you can see. The handle is missing, but this is definitely from a bayonet. I really hope I can find the handle part, I don't think so. It's iron, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna find it, but look at this, this is, this is amazing. Awesome, let's carry on, see if we can find some more today. Okay, so I just found this uh, uh, lipstick over there. Looks pretty old and just had a signal right over here. Look at this, <laughs> that's a very old and big horseshoe. Heavy, I'm not gonna keep it, but uh, yeah, hopefully it wishes me luck. Okay guys, so I'm pretty excited again because I found something very cool again. Oh man, look at that. I recognize it immediately. That right there is a German World War II Mauser K98K stripper clip. And looks like it's in great condition. Look at this guys, this is so amazing. After a long time detecting and Already got some cool finds. Uh, very cool finds. I really love these stripper clips. Five rounds on one clip. I think it says a P right there. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna clean it a little bit and I will show you. Yep, I clean it a little and look at that right there. That's the factory code, the P. Yes, this is a beautiful find. Another interesting find right next to the stripper clip. A Mauser round. Yep, a live German World War II 8mm Mauser round. Um, and of course these go on the stripper clips, so uh, yeah, that's amazing. A live round. The primer is pretty rusty, but I can see an S and a small star, which means brass. Yeah, definitely a World War II German Mauser live round. A typical find on German positions. This looks like just a stone. It's actually coal that they use uh, to heat up the bunkers, the barracks, stuff like that. They give a very, very good signal, so uh, they're pretty light. Another interesting find. Right next to this old tree, I just found this old, small bell. Look at that. These are always very cool to find, and it's pretty old too. Another nice find. I just found this, and it has damage right there. I've been searching for markings, couldn't find any right there. So, uh, I don't know, it's aluminum? Interesting. Okay, another interesting find. An old button. Shank is still on it right there. Nothing on the front. But uh, yeah, another interesting find. All right, today in the same location. Already got a signal right over here. And I just found this rimfire shell casing. Probably uh, late 1800s. Let's see if we can find more today. Okay, so I just found a small piece of shrapnel right over there. And look what I just found. This is an American fuse from uh, a big shell. So it exploded somewhere here in this area. And um, here we have another small fragment. This is brass and uh, here we have the big piece. That's a very interesting find. It's heavy, but I'm definitely gonna, oh! <laughs> definitely gonna keep it. <laughs> awesome find. Okay, so I just found some more pieces of shrapnel right over there. And next find is gonna be this coin. It has an eagle. I think it's German and there's a hat on it right there. I'm not sure about the date, but it's an interesting coin. All right, I just found this bird ring. Find them pretty often, but this time it still has a bone in it. Okay, so I just found this. I recognize it um, as a uh, World War II Dutch coin. I was left of it. It's in very bad condition. It's made from zinc, but it's a wartime Dutch coin. That's a nice find, but it's completely gone, as you can see. All right, so we just found some evidence of battle. This is a US World War II 30-06 shell casing, uh, most likely fired by the M1 Garand, LC 1942. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. I was thinking about this being a trench, maybe. Germans, right over there. Who knows? Interesting find. Okay, so this is where I just found the M1 Garand shell casing and right next to it, I just found another one. Definitely another 30-06. Okay, and that's another one. Right next to it again, so yeah. US soldier definitely took cover behind this and was probably firing in that direction, so. Right, another interesting find, but this time it's, uh, yeah, a lot older. It's a musket ball. It's from a war, but uh, not World War II. 
Hi everyone, today we are metal detecting near the Siegfried line. You probably can see on my face that it's extremely hot today. The funny thing, I actually just fell from the Siegfried line, <laughs> stepped right next to it and I just fell. So yeah, that's funny. So I can officially say that I fell from the Siegfried line. But uh, yeah, the Siegfried line is right over there and um, found a couple things, but it's so hot today. But uh, yeah, found a couple rusty things, nothing really interesting. Um, I found this tool. I'm gonna show you somewhere in the back, uh, right here. You can see, yeah, that's definitely from the same time frame. Probably uh, when they were working on the secret line here and stuff. Also found some package uh, material from some uh, German World War II barbed wire and some actual World War II barbed wire. Right over here, I just found a shovel and yeah, it's definitely also from the same time frame. Probably from the uh, RAD or Reichsarbeitsdienst. I'm not gonna keep it, it's way too hard to carry this around. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting find. And right over here, I just had a great signal and look what I found. I found these two German shell casings, eight millimeter Mauser, and we can see on the half moon right there that these rounds were fired by the MG42. This is very typical for uh, MG42 fired shell casings because uh, they were ejected with so much force that uh, yeah, that happened right there, half moon. Let's uh, check the head stamps. All the finds in this area are always in very good condition. So uh, I'm just gonna clean it right now and I will show you. All right, so I cleaned the head stamps and right there on the left, you can see S and a small star, which means brass, 12, that's the lot number, 34, that's the year 1934, and P163 is the factory code. And the one on the right is the same lot number, it's the same factory, so great condition. And like I already said, these were fired by the MG42. So right over here was an MG42 position. All right, so I was doing a recheck right over here and I had another signal right next to it. And I think there might be another shell casing right there. I can see something. Let's check it out. Yes, haha, <laughs> it's another German shell casing. Wow, that is very nice. You can see the primer. That's a beautiful eight millimeter Mauser shell casing. Again, from the MG42. Right next to it, guess what? That's another one. Another MG42 shell casing. Oh, that's so cool if you think about it. It was just an MG42 right here. Yep, a lot of history. Yes, 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 and there is another one. Look at that. It looks like this one is broken right there on top. It's bent. Maybe a jammed or something? Looks like it. But uh, yeah, it's another one. Okay, so I just found this shell casing and it's a very weird one. Uh, the primer is missing. Looks like it has some kind of star right there. I'm not sure. Can't see any numbers or... I, I don't know. It's a very, very strange shell casing. Okay, so right here, where I'm sitting right now, on some electricity wires, maybe from a field radio or something, I don't know. And right here, had a very good signal and this found this old buckle. I think it's made from bronze. There was also a, a lot of Roman activity in this area, so I don't know how old this is. It looks very old. So uh, that's an awesome find. Okay, so we're out of time right now. Um, it was pretty late already and we've been walking for the most part. So, uh, but uh, as you can see, we're standing right next to the famous Siegfried line. Just look at this, it's massive. Yep, look at this. So cool to see. Let's go, go this way. Whoa. You really have to watch your step. Look at this right here. That's a bullet hole. It definitely is. Can you see that? That's so cool, right there. And I'm wearing my US Army boots right now, low boots. And you can see it says US Army right there. And I'm touching the secret line with my American boots. The part where I fell is right over there. It was like this, I stepped right next to it. Big teeth and smaller ones. Just casually walking through the secret line. Oh. There we go. Whoa! See, that's what I mean. Holes everywhere. We're gonna hang out with the washing on the Siegfried line. Have you any dirty washing, mother dear? And here you can see we are actually hanging the washing on the Siegfried line. Look at this, guys. A loose piece of stone. That's a beautiful <laughs> souvenir from the Siegfried line.
All right, so here we are some of the finds after cleaning. I know it's a short video and um, not a lot of finds. Yeah, that's because it's way too hot to go metal detecting right now. First, I wanted to wait until I had more finds, but I didn't want you guys to wait much longer, so I just decided to upload this video today. I'm also filming outside because it's so hot upstairs and uh, the weather is insane, so. But as you can see, we have a couple very nice finds. Not a lot, like I said, but uh, yeah, some cool stuff. Let's start with this. Uh, we got some pieces of shrapnel and this from a big shell. Not really clean because I have a lot of these and it's a lot of work to clean this and it's not in the best condition. Also, these are pretty bad condition, but these are uh, from the brass ring that go around the shell. That's always interesting to find. These coins are almost gone. This one is from the 1960s and this is just there's nothing left. Uh, lipstick, maybe from World War II time frame, I don't know. Looks pretty old, completely falling apart. And here we have a musket ball, always interesting to find. And this old bell still works, pretty cool. Uh, rim fire shell casing, uh, this button, very bad condition, but it's an old one. Then we have this beautiful buckle. Well, the shape is pretty strange, but that's what I like. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Roman buckle. Wow, just look at the way it's made. It's not even straight, it's very thick right here. Some iron left right there from the pin. But wow, look at this. It's bronze. This is so extremely old. This one was made of a very, very long time ago. Wow. Yeah, that's an awesome find. Found Roman stuff before in that area, even from before the Romans. Right here, we have this awesome find. Yeah, this is, this is just extremely, extremely cool. Um, a broken bayonet, too bad it's broken, but I mean, who cares, it's, it's still a bayonet. Who knows what happened to it, why it broke, but you can see the groove right there on both sides. And it has a bowie point, and I was thinking about maybe this model, as you can see right there, the US bayonet. But uh, I, I'm not sure, because it's very hard to see without a handle, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a bayonet. So uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy too. So awesome find. We got the shell casings. Um, these three are US, pretty nicely clean, good condition. We look on the bottom. They're all LC 1942. And right here we have this shell casing. I'm still not sure what kind of shell casing this is. I was thinking about maybe French. It's a pretty interesting one. It has an F right there, I believe, on top. So yeah, it's a very strange caliber. We have these MG42 shell casings. They all have the same stamp, the same factory. Lot number 12, 1934, P163, and S and a small star. But uh, yeah, the condition is very nice. And like I explained before, typical MG42 shell casings. So uh, yeah, awesome finds. And of course, this German stripper clip. Uh, look at that, it's still shiny. So uh, here's the iron part. That's a beautiful find, I always like to find these. Actually pretty funny that we found five German shell casings. And of course, five rounds go on one clip. But these were found in a completely different spot. So, and these were fired by MG42, of course, and an MG42 doesn't use clips. Original German World War II ammo uh, was packed like this, five life rounds on clips in a cardboard box. Of course, not one clips, but a couple clips. But like I said, not a lot of finds, but some very cool ones for sure. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. And of course, I'm gonna go out detecting again when uh, it's not this hot. <laughs> so more detecting videos coming and more videos from different stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. So thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.